Oh, how you doing, everybody? This is Paul. Um, we are going to get right into it. Uh, the last video that I did, I think, is important, and I'd like my subs to at least check it out because essentially it's about me, but really it's not about me. It's about Mr. Peterson, who I admire to some degree and uh, give him a certain amount of credit. Uh, not too much credit, frankly, but uh, some, okay? Certainly not the enemy, but kind of the enemy. Anyways, um, I know that two of my Australian friends will find that to be interesting. Now, we'll go right ahead and get into this because it's exactly 10.01 in the morning now, uh, Monday morning. Uh, folks, we've got Bitcoin at $17,200, and we are going to continue here to check the markets. Oil is up 3% at $82, and... Um, <clears throat> Uh, JM Bullion is pulling up right now, so uh, give me a second, getting it, getting it as quick as I can. So, oil on its way up. Bitcoin 17.2, and sorry folks, but this is uh, working very slowly. If it doesn't pull up, I will put this on pause, which I will. Good grief, it took a long time. Anyways, um, we've got the gold is, is come down $20 to 17.86. And silver's getting peed up pretty bad, uh, down 75 cents at 22.60. So, um, although up over 22 dollars, it may not stay there long. Um, we'll have to see what happens. Now, let's go ahead and get into the news. <clears throat> Actually, we should take a look at the Dow. And um, if the Dow isn't doing anything, well, the Dow is down 345 points. That's just one percent. So, um, I think it merits taking a look at the Nasdaq. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. And then we're done with all the numbers with that. All right, so it's down 1% also. There you have it. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead and get right into it. Uh, we are getting right into Drudge. And we'll see if there's anything shaking and moving or uh, something that needs to be reported um, you know, to my people so that they know. All right, folks, here we go. And I am sorry about all this. Um, it's taking forever. Uh, sorry, folks. That took about an extra 15 seconds, so I'm glad I did that. Okay. Uh, explosions at nuclear air base just 150 miles from Moscow open stunning new phase of war. Folks, whether you like it or you don't like it, this is not merely a proxy war. It's not just merely a hands-off war where none of your sons or daughters will be affected by this. We don't know what this will do. Um, everything is on the table. Everything is feasible right now. That's what makes this so dangerous. And they are going out of their way uh, for us to be led by the Messiah Zapansky, old toot there, doing his blue screens. Uh, because uh, President Egghead here, uh, Joe Blow Me Down, he isn't going to be able to do anything. He's not capable of coming out and making any sense of anything anyway. So, uh, I don't know what this is. We're going to have to check it out. This may be a lengthy news report. <coughs> and <coughs> if it's important, we're going to cover it. Because I owe that to my people. And myself. Okay, explosions from Nuke Air Base. 150 miles from Moscow. This is worrisome. This is why... We didn't want to give weapons to Ukraine that shot a real long way because it could escalate this and escalate it very, very quickly and very dangerously to new levels of danger that we have never seen before. Now, folks, I'm going to have to put this on pause because, again, it's very slow. All right, folks, it's come up here. Uh, that's one of their nuclear bombers, by the way. It was made in the 50s. It's a 160. I forgot the name of it. Um, a Tupolev or something. I, I don't know. But this is this one's made in the 50s, 55 or 54. And uh, they still work plenty good. Um, two explosions at a major Russian military base, including this one here in Razan, 150 miles from Moscow, mean the war in Ukraine has come right to Vladimir Putin's doorstep, which is not good. Because if it gets bad enough, folks, you're going to see five to eight million people 
conscripted into the Soviet army. And it's going to get real interesting, real fast. And as far as I'm concerned, if I was Vladimir Putin and they got this kind of stuff going in, I would take the chance on pissing off Finland and their uh, 24,000 well-trained special forces and just go ahead and start eliminating their infrastructure too because that's what they need to do. If I was Russia, that's exactly what I would do. And they can do it. And the people will start becoming more menacing to the governments of these West governments than anything that the Russians uh, could ever do. But this is what happens when you have stupid people. Stupid people want to believe stupid things. You win stupid prizes. <coughs> so let's see what we got going on here now. All right, so we got a, two explosions. A fuel truck explosion on one of them. Uh, and uh, it said that it uh, wounded a half a dozen and reportedly damaged a TU-95 bomber. Uh, and another long-range missile bomber. Folks, this is very serious. You don't want to listen to Mr. Koch. Mr. Koch is green screen. Zabansky. Okay? He's the new messiah for us to all get behind. Because after all, we all love Ukraine, don't you? Well, pretty soon you're going to be able to put your money or your kids where your mouth is. Because you think you're going to fight a proxy war. And this looks like it's going to be coming to our table sooner than later. Because you're all stupid, mindless, idiot fools. You've got a cocaine addict who they're pushing up as the Messiah. Doing every video that he does practically from a, a green screen. To make you believe he's somewhere other than this $38 million Miami mansion. And you're supposed to... Treat him like Jesus Christ. That's how stupid you people are right now. Your sons and daughters may be called sooner than you think. And these little shit fucks, they don't even know one thing from another. All they know is phones, cell phones. You don't even want to call it cell phones now. You just want to call it information things because they're so powerful now. This is what we're getting to because you people are so stupid. And there's nothing I can do about it. Stupid is as stupid does. All right, so now we've got a major escalation, 150 miles from Moscow, folks. That's pretty deep into Russia. <coughs> I'm not going to waste a lot of time on this. We will figure out what's going on as we continue to read the, you know, read the news over the next day or two. This is very troubling indeed. Okay, um... Republican hopes fade in Georgia. What do you expect? You got the impregnator. That's who you Republicans wanted to save the day, the impregnator? That dummy going out and impregnating every one of the girlfriends that he gets and then telling them to go have an abortion? The guy wasn't right. He was a terrible running back now that I think about it. The guy couldn't run to the left. He was a very good runner to the right. He was a, Herschel Walker was a good running back in that way. But damn it, the impregnator had no business in this election. None. Go back and uh, keep impregnating women and getting them uh, pregnant. And I'm, I'm not a Democrat. I don't know what I am, but I'm not a Democrat. But the people are right about him. It's not right. It's not right in his head. And neither is that other numbskull running against him. That imbecile. I wouldn't give you a half a cent for any of them. Especially those two. Uh, here, he, here he is right here. Um, taking pictures and old uh, um, Miss Obama there. Uh, what's her name there? I forgot now. Michael or whatever. Uh, he, she, he, she, it put it over the top. Okay. <coughs> so bye-bye, Georgia. All right. All right. This uh, Fuentes, this weird dude, I, I don't know anything about him. He's having a food fight. Looks like that video game. Remember the video game Food Fight? That's what it looks like here. Look at this dude. He's getting ready to throw a bottle of mustard or whatever it is right here. So he's getting ready to <coughs> throw food all in whatever. What, oh, it was in an In-N-Out burger. I read it on Saturday. 
Uh, Jewish UFC fighter challenges Kanye. Well, you know what? First of all, you're making a mistake, okay? If you're a Jew, what you have to do is refer to him in the right way. And you call him they, okay? His name is not Kanye. His name is not Ye. It's they, as in oy they, okay? You've got a person that is so incompetent and so sick in their head that they are essentially, he is essentially trying to make a, a, uh, a symbolic devil unite with a symbolic God, goodness and evilness. And I'm not sure that uh, Oive there understands one thing from another. I don't think he's even cracked the book. Unless it was about maybe him. I mean, what are we going to do with Oive? Not yay. Oive. Because that's all you can say about him. What are we supposed to do with him? Are, are you crazy, Oi, Oive? Are you crazy? You're going to tell... Jewish people that it, you're going to draw that symbol with the you know what symbol inside the star of David are you crazy are you crazy do you know what the Germans did do you know what they did to the Jewish people it wasn't just that they were unkind to them they tried to eliminate the species they tried to eliminate them it's called genocide something far beyond your mental capacity I don't understand you, honestly. <coughs> so from now on, I'm just going to call him they, short for oy they, okay? <coughs> Supreme Court taking up clash of religion and gay rights. Gee, I wonder who's going to win there. Give it time, okay? Nuke sub buzzed by underwater object traveling faster than sound. Well, I can already tell you what that is. It's called a reflection, okay? It's a light or something like that or a laser or whatever it is. Because you just simply cannot go with the resistance at 100 miles an hour. I forget what they can do. Maybe 80, 70, 80 miles an hour. Maybe they could do 120 miles an hour or something like that. I don't even know if they could go that fast under the water. There's too much resistance. Uh, mysterious object emerges on Florida beach. It's just Cubans. Really? I do it so, and the Haitians. All right. Mystery object emerges off Florida beach, setting off speculation. All right. Vampires, voter access, and turnout. Georgia Senate runoff remains question mark. What's the point? The impregnator is going to lose. Um, if Twitter collapses, will Tesla be far behind? Well, it depends on how smart the people are. Uh, folks, not wise to try to do... You're not talking about trying to drive like one little car or a, a moped or some sort of specialty vehicle. You're talking about wanting all people to drive uh, battery rechargeable cars. It's a bad idea in my opinion. And people will believe exactly as I do in time. <coughs> and that's when they're going to think it's a bad idea, in my opinion. Not before. EU, it says social faces shutdown if does not comply with law. Let's take a look at that. What's that? You have a different opinion than the, um, uh, the standard opinion? <coughs> They'll block you. Well, I can't get to it, so let's just keep going. I'm sure it has something to do with that. <coughs> uh, space race. China building weapons to attack ground, sea, and air targets from orbit. That's going to be the next phase. I don't know how long it'll take. 
But as those laser weapons and those high-tech weapons get better, uh, they're going to start roasting things in the air and wherever else. You're not going to have to worry about bullets. Problem is, they have to be huge. Because those lasers, the reason they don't work is because if the thing is moving this fast, it can't, the laser can't focus enough to create the spectacular damage that it needs to take uh, a vehicle out of the air. That's what they've learned. They can do it now, though. Uh, if it's a big enough laser, I think they can do it, at least to some degree or another. <coughs> <coughs> All right, we told you about that. China's operating 100 police stations around the world, including one in New York City, which is troubling. I don't know why they're allowing them to do that. A crush of early voters, I guess, in Georgia. I don't know what this is all about. Sorry, folks, if it isn't interesting, we're not going there. Um, surging anti-Semitism tweets unite fringe, encourages violence, officials say. Dissident says Cuba regime has unleashed re repressive fury. Well, uh, keep uh, guys, keep going over and kissing each other with tongue over there, okay? Watch how quick those conservative Cubans, because Cubans typically are conservative people, I think. So go have two guys tongue kissing each other and we'll find out real quick whether or not you get your heads crushed over there in Cuba. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, Iran activists brush off claim that the morality police are abolished. I agree. I don't think that's uh, gone away there, folks. Bentley driving Mormon prophet had 20 wives, including own daughter. Uh, folks, you know, remember I told you that I was going to the witnesses here, you know, to um, Kingdom Hall, and I was uh, studying with my friend, and um, this guy is an older guy, but he's got a certain kind of simple simplistic beauty to him and i asked him i said you know we were talking about he went out and tried to recruit people and i said did you ever get any mormons you know recruited and he says well what can you say he says they're all crazy you know <laughs> so um I, I i've been there i've been to salt lake city utah i mean that the mormons run utah period end of story you can forget it hey they run salt lake city period end of story they're very powerful people. They're very powerful religion. Well, let's have a look at the Bentley driving Mormon prophet, shall we? I mean, you got to love that he's got a Bentley. At least he's not wasting his time on uh, German engineering there. All right. Well, now it's taken me to uh, a sleeping bag, which I've been toying with, which I've said no after they raised the price $10. All right. Let's just keep going and we'll finish this up. Um, porn star risks execution for World Cup outfit in Qatar. Uh, I would say yes, okay? Yes, you are risking it all. You're also risking some other kind of behavior um, that could uh, put you into a, a compromising situation. I wouldn't do it if I was a woman. You're talking about, you see, that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to change the conservative religious ideals all over every country now they succeeded in the west but they make in they're going to make inroads here in iran looks like <coughs> uh, attack on north carolina substations leaves thirty-three thousand without electricity i don't know what that means fbi joins the investigation uh yeah the pickpockets are out targeting crowds uh, Harry, the son of Diana, Princess Diana, um, you know, and his American girlfriend there, 
accuses royals of dirty game. And you know what's coming. You know what's coming. He's a turncoat. The British don't like him. They don't like him. <coughs> I used to like him, but I don't like him anymore. It's a hardcore leftist, like his uh, wife there. <coughs> It says, um, William to challenge brother if he smears him again. Yeah, he'll go at it with uh, people that are watching him ride his bike around uh, London or whatever it is. Uh, he'll get into it with people. So I'm talking about uh, Prince, Prince William. He'll get into it with people. Don't think he won't. The public will have to choose. In England, I presume. Uh, study self-service checkout screens crawling with fecal bacteria. Okay. Worst flu outbreak in decades spikes hospitalization. California hit hard. I thought there was no flu. Remember? In 2020, I thought I heard that it all went away. There was no more flu. That's you mindless idiots. Right? No more flu. It was replaced by something else. Very conveniently. <coughs> and that looks like it's it, folks. Um, uh, her baby needs heart surgery, but she is demanding unthissed blood. All right. That's it, folks. I wish it was a little bit more interesting. Twasn't. Um, take care. Have a nice day. And I will see you at the movies.